Hello, Blitz fans of all ages, it's me, Plum Castle, here going over the changes that will be coming to the AMX 50B come update 9.1. So, the first and most notable change is that the AMX 50B will be receiving an extra shell. Now, at first, this might seem great, but as you're going to see in the next statistics that I'm going to bring up, this is actually not the case. So firstly, even though we are getting a fourth shell, the damage per shell is actually going to be decreased by 20 hit points. So uh, it's not exactly like having four of the same shell. Each shell will be nerfed and so you'll have four weaker shells, which is already not too great. But again, it might be a little bit understandable. Next, the aiming time will be increased. So It'll be, take a little bit longer to get your reticle really aimed in, and it's going to take 0.4 seconds longer, which is nearly half a second, which will definitely be noticeable. The next thing is that the dispersion at 100 meters will be increased by 0.02, and while that isn't an insane amount, it's definitely going to be a little bit less accurate, so some shots are going to just not hit where they were intended. Now, that's... Uh, already not looking too great, but the magazine reload time is also going to be increased on top of this by nearly 6 seconds at the 5.84 seconds that Wargaming has announced. Which means that the magazine reload is going to go from the 19.44 that it currently is all the way down, or sorry, all the way up to 25.28 seconds. That is a huge jump. Adding 6 seconds to any clip reload is going to feel absolutely painful. Yeah, I mean, that's just a huge increase. And so, with the 4th shell, the as far as I know, the uh, interclip doesn't change, so you're actually going to be have to, gonna have to be out for longer at a time. So, instead of just popping out, dunking 3 shells, and then pulling back, you're going to have to go out and get, a four, get 1 shell, and then 2 shells, and then 3 shells, and then 4 shells, which means not only is your reload longer and you're more vulnerable during it, but you're also more vulnerable when poking out to get the damage. And if that wasn't bad enough, the armor thickness in the front frontal lower part of the turret will be decreased by 10 millimeters, making it that much easier of a penetration for the enemy. So all in all, the tank's just getting weaker, and it's vulnerable. the periods where it is vulnerable are going to be even more devastating. You're just going to be more vulnerable when reloading, and more vulnerable when doing damage itself. So just in general, this tank is going to be a lot harder to play, and it's going to be a lot easier for players to focus you as soon as you go on that reload and wipe you out. And it's really, in my opinion, just going to wipe out any fun that the AMX 50B was previously. I hope at some point that this will stop and that maybe Wargaming will kind of revert it back to its original three shell state, perhaps even giving players the option to have three or four. But there you go. That is the AMX 50B in update 9.1. Not too excited. I uh, never really was one to go for the AMX 50B to begin with, but now I'm certainly not. And, well, uh, there's not much we can do for now. We can just hope that Wargaming will change it. And so with that, hope you all enjoyed. And as always, have fun, good luck, and happy tanking.